A top of the morning to you all, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for all these updates. Due to the rumors that have been circulating in the social media about His Excellency Yorika Gutam Seven's death has brought tension and fear among people where a young man by the names of Twip was abducted in a drone for allegedly tweeting Museven's death and he was forced to sing Bobby Wine's new song. Once again, thanks for joining us, but let's take more look into some of these details. Chris Navgere, a renowned Ugandan Twip, was on Tuesday afternoon abducted for allegedly tweeting fake news of Museven's death. Navugere was picked from his home compound at around 5.30 p.m. in a drone car registration number UBG454B. And according to an eyewitness, Phoebe Rita Navugere, a sister to Chris, the abductor, uh, say that the abductor seized her brother and his friends and started beating them with gun butts as they threw them in the vehicle. And she also added on saying that a drone with license plate number UBG454B just captured my brother and his friends from our compound while beating them up with guns. The fear running through me right now is immeasurable with all those. And she also added on saying that knowing once they capture you, you never return. The stories just keep on running through my head by the fear of the drone taking my brother because I know the stories that if you are taken, you can never return back. Uh, Rita tweeted that after her brother's abduction. Uh, however, in a thread on his timeline, Chris narrated that at least nine men abducted him and his friends bundled them up in the drone van and started beating them in turns. The group of about nine men who were masked up, they were beating us with the back of their guns while one was using a screwdriver trying to pierce my friend. And he also states that one of their captures was a Lugwara who kept on asking him to pronounce certain words in Lugwara. And failure of which ended him more beating. Uh, if you fail to pronounce the word in Lugwara, you end up being beaten more. And Chris also claims that the men who captured him and his friends were mistaken him and they thought he could be a man by the names of Cyrus who tweeted fake news of the president's death at the end of last, of last week. So he was asked, isn't your name Cyrus? Aren't you the one who tweeted the president has died and added a picture of him sleeping? I kept on saying my name is Chris and not Cyrus and he slapped me saying I'm, I'm lying to an officer so he got pliers and asked me for my ID he said and I told him I did not have it because I was home when they picked me so he tried to pull my nails but because I bite my nails the pliers couldn't hold anything and this and his other friend gave me a twin slap and said to me Answer the Afande when he asks you. And according to the narration by Chris Navgere, the officers asked each one of them to call their relatives to send them money before forcing them to reveal their mobile money pin codes. The money was withdrawn off the phones and then returned and said they have marked our faces and that they clearly know where I stay and shall be back if they hear anything in the press. Then they checked my Twitter to verify I wasn't the one that tweeted and then also checked if I had recorded any videos of them in the short time. I was allowed to use my phone to make phone calls. He states, when the money station was done, one of the officers told, to, told Chris to sing the new song by National Unit Platform President, uh, National Unit Platform Principal Bobby Wine dubbed Akatengo. But in all, in all honesty, I couldn't sing any lines from the song, not because I was being big-headed, but because I did not know the lines. So he poked me again and said, I'm trying to act smart that I don't know the song. And then the other leader received a call and after the phone call said, so your friends have called your dad and you think you have survived. I just told him, I'm really sorry. I have done anything wrong if I have done anything wrong. 
Then they made all of us using us, they beat anyone who couldn't recite the lyrics. And in Chris Navgere's tweet on Twitter, he said, so today at around 5.30 p.m., as I was chilling with my friends at home, a drone picked me and my friends up with men dressed in plain clothes and holding guns. And also Phoebe Rita Navgere, sister to the abducted Chris Navgere said, a drone with license plate number UBG454B just captured my brother and his friends from our compound while beating them up with the guns. The fear running through me right now is measurable with all those knowing that once they capture you, you never return. So the story is all running through my head. That's what Phoebe Rita Navgere, sister to Chris Navgere, tweeted on Twitter. And he's, he also said, uh, Chris continued narrating his story saying that the officers dropped them off around Mutundwe and ordered them to run as fast as they could or else risk being put back. And according to Rita Navgere, the officers have since been arrested with the help of Brigadier Chris Serujo Jindamulira, the head of the Crime Intelligence Directorate. And with the help of General Damulira, all the officers who participated in the act in the drone with the registration number UBG454B have been apprehended, and she said in a very delightful way. And she also added on saying that Chris is back home. I'm relieved and very angry in the same measure. These officers who kidnapped him, beat him up, and his friends so bad, they claim that he is called Cyrus and had picked up on his tweets where he said that he hates the president. He said he's not called Cyrus, and she added, and at the end of last week, there was a rumor being paddled on social media that President Museven had been critically admitted to Nairobi Hospital and later German, while others indicated that the president had since died of COVID-19. The news mostly pendled by accounts related to the National Unit platform also was confirmed by Kenyan blogger Robert Alai. So that is the reason as to why Chris Navgere and the friends were abducted Last week, taken and tortured to sing Bobby Wine's new song, reason being that they are the, they are the ones who tweeted and spread the rumors that His Excellency Wereka Gutam Seven died and he was critically suffering from COVID-19, taken to Nairobi Hospital and later transferred to German. Uh, so these are the rumors as to why, uh, these are the reasons as to why they are abducted. And if they are abducted, they were asked to give their mobile money pins, asked them to give some money, and they were given the money, and they were asked not to say anything about them. In case they say it, they will be taken back to prison and deal with them accordingly. Uh, so, well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll keep on updating with more of this, but do one thing. Subscribe and turn the notification button. All these updates will come right to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching.